as regular dairy goats, they're just a little smaller. And they are one of the oldest species of domesticated animals in the world. So goats have been helping people uh, since for about 10,000 years. Domesticated means they are bred to live with people. So some of the ways they help humans survive is by, well, giving their meat and their milk, but also doing work and being just companions for people. Nigerian work goats generally have a very playful but gentle personality. A lot of people actually have them as pets. And they're really nice to be around. Aren't you Chewbacca? Aren't you? What else does she have? Oh, what do we have here? More treats? So food enrichment like this is one of the ways that we keep all of our animals at the zoo stimulated and interested in their surroundings. <laughs> give them something different to do <laughs> and mimic their natural behaviors. So Nigerian dwarf goats are browsers. They might spend in the wild up to eight hours a day browsing on things like grasses, low trees, shrubs, and many people actually use Nigerian dwarf goats for lawn maintenance because they are actually able to process things like poison ivy and poison oak with no harm to them whatsoever. What do you think? What do you think? So Allison, can you just uh, remind us of their names again and point out who is who? Sure. So this lovely lady right here is Pop-Tart. So she is 14 years old. And these two girls both originally lived at Franklin Park. And they have recently come to live at Stone Zoo. And soon we're going to hope to integrate them with our, our other three Nigerian dwarf goats that we have here. So currently, so this, again, this is Pop-Tart, and this little lady over here working on her enrichment box is Chewbacca. And right now, because they're not fully integrated with their other, with their other goat neighbors, they switch days on and off in the big pen out here. Look at her go! <laughs> So dwarf goats, Nigerian dwarf goats, like our friends here, can live up to 15 years. They usually stand between, from the ground to their shoulders about 18 to 23 inches. So they're not very big. And ideally they weigh between 60 and 80 pounds.
that the rectangular um, pupils are helpful to the dwarf goat. One is, as a prey species in the wild, you can notice that she's got eyes on both sides of her head. And the rectangular uh, shape of her pupil gives her better peripheral vision than we humans have. So she can better be able to spy predators coming from her. And another reason that they're helpful, that the rectangular shape is helpful, is to reduce glare. If they're up on a mountain and the sun is really shiny, it makes it easier for them to see where they're going and get around. <laughs> Do you want to help Chewbacca out and show her where the brows is on the side? <laughs> So you mentioned that Chewbacca was four and Pop-Tart is 14. Um, can you remind us how long they live? Uh, generally between 12 and 15 years old. So Pop-Tart's kind of, you know, she's kind of an older lady, so we want to make sure she gets the best care possible. And being at the zoo, she has exposure to the best diet we can give her and also veterinary care. Whoa. I think we're getting some comments from the peanut gallery back here. So they're getting special browse treats right now, but what do they normally eat? So normally here at the zoo, they eat a few things. They get a lot of Timothy hay. You might be able to see some of that in the views. One of their favorite things to eat, we call Tim pellets, which are basically compressed Timothy hay. They also get alfalfa, which they also love, and which truth be told, is hidden in some of these boxes for them to enjoy. But browns like this, again, is a form of feeding enrichment that hopefully keeps them engaged and interested and having different experiences from day to day. And can you tell us where these goats are native to? Oh, sure. So their name, their name is Nigerian dwarf goat. So they are native to West Africa. But we believe that they've been in the United States for at least 100 years or so that they've been introduced. And many people have the dwarf goats for farming and companionship. And some actually do raise them as dairy goats. <laughs> they generally are herd animals. And the leader of the herd is typically a mature female, kind of like Pop-Tart here. <laughs> Nigerian dwarf goats in particular mature very quickly and they can have babies at a very young age. So actually we, of our other goats, maybe at the end we can get a little visual, one of our other goats, Lynn, had two babies at the same time. Their names are Jelly Bean and Kevin and Lynn was only about a year old when she had Jelly Bean and Kevin. Goats can have up to uh, multiple kids in a litter. Baby goats are called kids and their gestation period is about five months. And can you tell us a little bit about their, their toes? Um, I know they're sort of interesting looking. They do, I don't know if we can get any on camera, but you can see they have kind of almost pointed little feet there. So hoofed animals are often called ungulates, that's a touch of And there are different kinds of ungulates. There are two-toed ungulates, and then we have three-toed ungulates. So other animals have the three toes and some have the two toes. So they have two toes on each foot. And those two toes help them when they're climbing. They do like to fly. Um, they might be climbing on top of these boxes or in their buckets. wants to know um, about their babies. About their babies. So I'm not actually sure if Pop-Tart has had any babies, uh, but, and it looks like our other goats that are 
Lynn's babies are actually inside the barn right now. So maybe we can look that up for you and get back to you, Thea. Uh, and Linda wants to know how many goats do we have at the zoo? We have a total of five goats. So we have these two lovely ladies that we recently acquired from Franklin Park. <laughs> so that's two. And then we have a family of three. We have Lynn, who is the mom, and then we have Jelly Bean and Evan. So a total of five. Looks like they're really enjoying their, their special treats today. questions coming through just yet um, but if you think of any others you know be sure to leave them in the comments and we can definitely get back to you later on those um, I don't know if we want to try to get a shot of our other three goats before we sign off we might be able to if we lure them with some brown <laughs> Come up to us, uh, visit the zoo soon and see the goats. Thanks so much.